range, fans range, fans, we are back on the rim fire range. I done had a little bit of enough of that center fire. We are back on the 50 yard rim fire range with the old Lithgow LA 101. And today, doing some Lapua 22 long rifle testing. Stay tuned. Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. You see a little bit of elaborate setup today. I got the old tablet out. Hopefully, I have enough battery power. That tablet is connected to the chronograph because today we're going to put Lapua long range to the test at 50 yards across the chronograph. Now, Lapua long range, everybody's been asking, why bring out another brand or, um, I don't know, model or whatever you want to call it, right? Why? Why another one, Lapua? Because you've got Center X and you've got Midas Plus. There was a big gap in price range. And what I have noticed, if you go by price alone, Lapua long range fits right in between Center X and Midas Plus. So I got all three, all three out here on the bench with me today. And we're going to put 10 rounds of each across the chronograph on target. And then we're going to put three five shot groups on each target and see how it does. I have thoroughly cleaned the Lithgo. So the 10 shots across the chronograph is for fouling in general. And also, you cannot do an accuracy test without Ransom International Ransom Rifle Rest Master Series. Do you notice something? Oh, I upgraded these babies. <laughs> I got the brass screws on them. They were already beautiful. Now it's just over the top beautiful and very functional. Because I can take these uh, heads off and change them for whatever rifle setup I want, now it's very easy to grip these screws and remove them off. Give those good people over at Ransom International a call. Enough with the chit chat. Let's put these things across the chronograph. <laughs> All right, we're starting with Center X. Am I on target? No, I am not on target in any kind of way. Go use the old windage and go over. All right, you know what I just noticed? The downrange camera ain't on. Be right back, folks. All right, now we're ready. I got 10 rounds of Lapua Center X loaded up in this thing across the Pro Chronograph. Let's see if the old tablet picks them up for you. All right, here we go. Real low. Ten shots. Y'all check it out, that group. Oh, outside of that cold bore shot, Center X and this Harrell tuner on the end. Whoo, yeah, it's digging it. I'll put the uh, chronograph results over up at dayattherange.com. We're going to readjust the camera down range and put three five-round groups on each one of those targets of Center X, and we'll see how it's going to fall What Lapua. Long range and Midas Plus. Let's get after it. <laughs> All right, range fans. You see that group down there? You saw it. Oh, 
Let's use the old ransom windage. Adjust. Make a few adjustments here. And I've got 15 rounds of Lapo Center X. We're going to put three five round groups on each one of those 1.5 inch targets. But I got to tell you, Range fans, I'm a little bit disappointed in you. Nobody's commented as of yet about the new day at the range ball caps. Man, this thing is fitted. Whoo! It is smoking. Might be coming to a website or a store near you. I hope you guys can continue to support the channel. All this you see in front of you, right out of my own pocket. No shield for anyone, for any manufacturer. Everything we do is coming right out of the me and the missus pockets. And uh, my daughter's, shh, don't tell her. Some of it might be coming out of her retirement fund. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, folks. I would never do anything like that. My wife doesn't say a thing. As long as it's not hurting the retirement funds or the endowment for the children. Yes, I believe in generational wealth. That's a topic for another day. And I believe I am responsible for my kids getting off to a good start for this great country. Anyways, enough chit-chat. Five rounds. Here we go. Lapua, Center X. What can we do? All uh, winds pick it up. Uh oh. Uh oh. I got a jam there. Oh, it didn't want to. Wow. It didn't want to come out of the magazine. You know what, folks? Yeah, the bullet's a little scuffed. I'm going to shoot this thing. Fifth round. Flyer. Watch, see what I tell you. Yep. Shot low. That one sort of don't count, but that's okay. You saw what it can do. We got 10 rounds. We're going to go at the other two targets with five round groups from the Lithgo LA-101. Whoa, spreading out on me now. All right, here we go. Uh-oh, what's going over? Last five-round group, Lapua, Center X. My old bear down, Mr. Revolver Guy. <laughs> yes, folks, that's Lapua Center X. You saw the speeds and feeds. If you want to see the hard written data, go over to dayattherange.com. You know what we're going to do next? We're going to put that Midas Plus. We're going to save long range until the end. Here we go with Midas Plus coming up next. All right, all right. Ten rounds of Lapua Midas Plus through the Lithgow. LA-101 and the Harrell Tuner. I got to bring this thing down and adjust it. We're going to put 10 shots. Is that chronograph straight? Uh, I don't know, folks. All right, I think we got the old chronograph straight with Lapua Midas Plus. Let's see. Will it read? Will it read? 
I think we got it straight. Ten shots. Oh no, my battery's going dead in the chronograph. Last one. Nope. That was the last one. That was 10 rounds. Again, we're going to publish these written results over at deadtherange.com. I've got 15 rounds of Lapua Midas Plus coming up next. But i got to change this battery out in this chronograph so I can absolutely get super long range recorded. Be right back. Ho-ho! 15 rounds of Lapua Midas Plus. Five rounds in the five round magazine and 10 rounds in the 10 round magazine. Three five round groups minus plus. Oh, I smell trouble. That cold bore shot is always low. Oh, not too bad. I still think Center X might be a tad bit better. And let's see here. Let's use the old windage on the ransom rest. Get me adjusted. This thing is so sweet, so nice. Yeah, Josh, it's a nice setup, buddy. Care what you say. Am I pulling those that way? Interesting. You know, that third target is giving me fits today on both the Center X and also the Midas Plus. Let's get adjusted again. Let's tighten up this last five round group, big fella. Let's show Cyclops Joe you mean business. Joe. <laughs> Boy, when I do my part, when I do my part, that's Lapua Midas Plus. Now I got to uh, get everything readjusted again. Yeah, a lot of works, folks. I got to move the chronograph back over, get the camera downrange adjusted, get my tablet turned back on to record. Then I got to get everything loaded up with Lapua. Super. Long range. Is it super long range? Nope. Lapua. Long range. Coming up next at 50 yards. <laughs> 
Hey, hey, we back, we back. All right, with the Lapua, long range loaded up in the Lithgow. We've already adjusted the rifle. I replaced the battery in the chronograph, so we should be good to go. 10 rounds across the chronograph. Will it be more consistent than Center X or Midas Plus? I don't know. You want to go over to deadtherange.com and see some of the final results for this thing. And by the way, I don't know. This is a 50 yards since it's long range. Should we go to 100? By the way, tell me what you think of the old cap down below in the comments. If you like the cap, go and subscribe. Could be coming to a store near you. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I am absolutely excited about this well-fitted cap. I mean, no adjustments, net, great for the summertime shooting. Even a little chilly out here today, but my head's nice and warm. And of course, I got that beautiful logo on it. Show some support for deadtherange.com. Here we go. 10 rounds. Ah, so it's recording. 1,059. That's interesting. just happened I don't know what the chronograph results are like you saw them I'm gonna have to review them when I get home maybe I just want to rush home now and look at the results when I was coming out here I was thinking about my old buddy Charlie I wish he was here with me his birthday was the other day and Charlie I want to wish you a happy birthday my friend I wish at some point we could get on the range together Hurrah, devil dog all right now we got 15 rounds loaded up three five round group you guys don't want to see 100 yards. You don't want to see it. I don't, I don't even, let's, let's get the 50 yard finish first. Let me move the chronograph out of the way, reset the camera down range. Then we'll talk about 100 yards, maybe, if you show some excitement. Come on. All right, now we all set up down range. 50 yards, Lapua, long range, three, five round groups. By the way, yes, I do have boat shims in here from TriggerShims.com. You saw me put those things in quite a few videos ago. I don't know how many months ago, but this setup seems to like the Lapua Long Range. Also, I saw a video that stated, I don't know if it was my buddy Don over at Rimfire SS. I'm not quite sure, but one of the fellas stated that the rounds pretty much are exactly the same. I did take a caliber to them. I looked them over real well, even measured the rim in some of them. I couldn't tell the difference from looking at it and those measurements between Center X, Long Range, or Midas Plus. I couldn't tell the difference. Someone even said the Long Range, it may have even been Kenny. I think it was Kenny over at Desert Precision that said they were not as lubed, buddy. Not my lot, Kenny. This lot is actually greasier or waxier, more wax on it, than Center X and Midas Plus. I don't know. Here we go, five rounds. 
Boy, that group fell apart. Oh, long range. I was having high hopes. That's why you got to test, folks. All right. Let's move it on over. Wrong way on the windage. All right, there we go. All right, here we go. Five more. I don't know. That wasn't me. I don't know why that thing's falling apart. I will tell you, everybody knows that Ely smell, right? That sweet Ely smell. This one's kind of smells like, I don't know, uh, crayons to me, maybe. Uh, Lapua, long range. Is it more consistent? Is it not? Let's see. Let's move it on over. All right, last five rounds. Let's tighten it up, big fella. Let's tighten it up. Those other groups has to be the big fella. Tell me what you think. You want to go out to the 100-yard line or maybe next video? You better comment down below. Tell me what you think. Oh, you don't want to see the 100-yard line. I don't know if I want to waste my time even going over there. You don't hang around until the end of the video range, fans. I thought I had some fanatics that we were a community, a family together, family and friends channel. Mm, we'll see. Let's see what turns up. Ha <laughs> ha! That's right. We are at the 100 yard line with the Lithgow LA 101 Redfield Hunter Scope Harrell Tuner. 20 rounds of long range from Lapua. I think I know where this thing's going to shoot or should shoot. We're going to bring it up to that middle target in the center. And we're going to have at it. I've got the uh, scope adjusted already. Ooh. Man, those one and a half inch dots down there, they look small. We're going to go 10 rounds at that center target and see what we can do. Lapua, long range. Make sure the rifle's level. Uh-uh, I don't like it. Got to put too much pressure on it. I don't want to muscle it at 100, that's for sure. Don't want to muscle it ever. All right, here we go. Oh, a little high. Three, that's four, five, what do you guys think so far? Uh, I feel like I'm muscling it, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Stretching it out, stretching it out. All right, we got ten more rounds, folks. I don't know how long that battery's gonna last on the camera downrange. Do I dare 
go left closest to the camera. Oh boy. Oh, you know what? Let's go for it. Don't shoot that camera. Uh, I feel like I'm muscling it again. Not quite sitting center. A little adjustment. Wind's picking up. This is eight, I believe. Nine. Last one. And 10. A little horizontal, a little vertical. You know what? I'll take it, folks. Tell me in the comments down below what you think. What do you think about Lapua long range? You saw the consistency or lack therein, whichever way you wish to call it. Is it worth the 17 bucks a box? Now, again, you have Lapua Center X. You have Lapua Midas Plus on that end. And then, of course, we all know about exact way up at the top end. I think this ammo is supposed to be somewhere in between Center X at $12 a box, long range at $17 a box, and then Midas Plus about $21 a box at this day and age. Is it worth it? You've now seen it tested across the chronograph at 50 yard line and what the grouping looks like at 100 yard line. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I know it's been a long video today. I hope it's been worth your time. Mr. Revolver Guy, signing out.